Hello and welcome to the Boisky Novice. Hello, 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 hello. Did I say hello and welcome to another whiskey review with me, the Whiskey Novice. Good to be here as always, good to have you with me. It is review number 60, what is it, 64, and part two of my series, which I have decided to call, Oh for the Love of Pete, mm. uh, which I'm looking at some uh, peated whiskies. Fairly short series, but just one that I wanted to dip into. And a distillery this time, which I haven't actually touched on yet in 64 reviews, I'm surprised, but one that you can't talk Pete and not bring in Lefroy at some point. Said before, do you like repeated whiskies? Lefroy certainly in there with that. An island distillery owned by Beam Centauri down there in the south of the island, uh, somewhere just between Port Ellen and Lagavulin and distilleries. So there you go. Really not a lot, an awful lot more to tell you there about the distillery itself. This, the quarter cask, which I'm looking at, non-age statement, uh, non-age statement bottled at 48%. Uh, non-chill filtered, probably colour added, although a lovely golden colour, I think. Now, the quarter cask, what have we got here? Well, if you imagine a cask is 200 litres. Cask, uh, your standard whiskey cask, 200 litres, or cask, not necessarily whiskey. So the quarter cask then, of course, is Jenkins and Lean. Listen up, stop talking while I'm asking questions. Yes, of course. 50 litres, so you're looking at a smaller cask here. And what happens with the maturation of this one is an undisclosed, non-disclosed length of time, it's matured in uh, American oak, used bourbon casks, and then transferred to the small quarter cask. And what you get is more wood, uh, more cask influence, because it's, it's greater volume of liquid to smaller, or to, it's all very technical. It's uh, basically you're getting a, a more wood influence on the spirit. So there you go. That's what you look at or look for in a quarter cask. And one which I've always been quite fond of. This one's on its way out. There will be another one. Let's get into it, shall we? Nose, sweet, buttery, oaky. Okay. Yes, it's okay. Slightly resinous. Yet again, playing into that oak. Slightly sharp. Caramel. Custard powder. Yep, stewed pears. There's sweetness, there's fruit. Brown sugar it is. Fresh, it is citrusy, but there's yet again there's an ash, an ashiness playing through uh, an ash tray. There's also a brininess, sea air. It is refreshing. It is fresh. Said it a few times. And no bite from that alcohol. Forty-eight percent, so it's. It's not a shrinking valet by any means, but there's no, absolutely no ethanol burn with that alcohol in the nose. And then you, you do, you're reminded, the reminder is there, this is a peated malt. It's weird, there's so many fresh, fruity, caramelly, sweet notes going through that you almost forget you almost become peak blind. There is a that thing where your, your nose becomes peak blind and, and you just see what's going on behind it. But of course it is there. That snootiness is there. The iodine's there. The sticking plaster or band-aid, whichever you choose to call it. And the smoke is a very sweet smoke. Very pleasant, sweet smoke. And as I say, that spirit just does not fight you. So into the taste. Mm. It's a salty delivery. Bonfire. The smoke's there. Something I generally find with peated whiskies. 
the smoke comes in the palate. If you don't find it on the on the nose, or it's there on the nose but just dancing around with everything else, it's the palate that brings it to the fore. This is, yeah, bonfire. It's sharp and tangy. Mm. Still sweet, but there's also like a a dark chocolate bitterness playing around there. Orange peel, creme brulee, because there's your sweetness again, but it's like a burnt sweetness. You can taste that burnt vanilla. It tends to fall, I mean, yeah, it tends to fall a little flat for me after an initial burst of flavor. Keep dipping back in, it'll go a little flat. The flavors tend to flatten themselves out. And then it becomes more of a bit of a gingery heat and that smoke always playing in the background. Yeah, the smoke just drags it out then. The, the, the smoke. Mm. The smoke carries right through to the finish. But doesn't become, I find some of them become slightly bitter. And a little, they can turn me a little after a while. Smoky, you know, if I, if I have too much of a thing, especially with a smoky whiskey, I get turned off very, very quickly. This one doesn't do that. This one's a nice, pleasant drag out with that smoke that just doesn't doesn't offend. It's just nice. It's there in the background. It's uh, it's very approachable. as a good I think a good way to explain it. I'm going to add some water. It can take it. A little more. Doesn't. It's not terribly oily. It's quite uh, quite light, actually. For something that's quarter cask, small cask, I would have thought it. And something that tastes a little resinous, I thought it would be slightly oily, but it's not. Becomes more citrusy with the addition of water. Slightly detergent -y. if that's like a, a, a citrus lemon washing up liquid, you know, you would use for your dishes. Yeah, there is a, a detergent -y sort of thing going on there. Becomes, the palate becomes more, slightly more ashy. And and there is a slight bitterness now with it, but also orange. Yeah. I don't know that I would recommend water with this. It's quite, it's also quite sweet, quite confectionery. Slightly sharper in the finish, slightly shorter. And once again, a slight bitterness, it's ever, ever so slight, but Mm. And it's nice to see actually that it is clouding slightly. So there's your uh, your non-chill filtration. I think, although it's not chill fil filtered, I think it is still barrier filtered. But we we live with that, don't we? It's this is if you've had the the, the Lefroy ten year old. Which I would imagine that maybe more have had it than the quarter cask. I find the, the the quarter cask, having had the two of them side by side, is almost like a condensed ten year old. In that, if you take the the, the ten year old, I haven't actually had the ten year old cask strength, but I would imagine if you take the ten year old and and undilute it slightly, if you know what I mean, this is more like a condensed. This is more like it. They're, they're, they're quite similar, 
but this just brings a little more, it's a little more resinous, a little more woody. Both very pleasant, pleasant drams, but this I just, I think I've always just slightly preferred to the 10 year old. It just brings a little more, you know, so uh, if, if you're ever, for the, for the price difference, when you get this on offer, there's very, very little price difference between this and the 10 year old. And I would take this all day long over the 10 year old at, at a value when the value is right, when the price is right. Uh, so there, that's that's what I, there's, there's the recommendation in this. If you haven't had either, hold out for this. Wait for it to go on offer rather than the 10 year old. Both very pleasant drams, as I say. Yeah. Nice, sweet, smoky, citrusy, light, resinous. A few things I would like to say about the Lefroy Core Cask. So let's move on to. Yes, if you liked this, then why not try this? I mean, you probably already had the Ardbeg 10 anyway. Most of us, I would imagine, out there have had the Ardbeg 10. It's in that same area for me, an earthy, fresh, citrusy, peated whiskey. You know, it, it's they're both peated whiskies, obviously, but this is in the same bonfire-y thing along with the, the core class. So, I mean, if you've had this, if you're on the start of your journey, if you're in the start of your peated whiskey journey, and you liked this, then you want to try this. It's a step up, I think. You, just in my opinion. So, yes, if you like the Lefroy Quartz Cask, give the Ardbeg 10 a go. There you have it. I feel that was short, sweet and simple, but I hope I got my point across. Really, you know, it's not... Uh, there's no point dragging these things out. We're here to review whiskey. Here's what I think of it. There you go. I, I want to thank you very much for being here. I enjoyed it. Uh, I'd like to thank, thank my uh, patrons, as always. If you wish to join that group, the details are in the description below. I'll be back next week with something else. Until then, here's to your good health. Cheers. Hey, thanks for watching my video. Please click and subscribe to be notified of further content.